Post-game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs. The final Saturday night showdown in the Star City during this SPHL regular season is on the docket here tonight as the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs host the Fayetteville Marksmen for the 10th and final time in this regular season head-to-head -head series. Wrap around in front, that shot kicked out. Jansen trying to backhand the rebound. Another opportunity, they score! It's Mateo DiGiulio, two goals in two nights, and Roanoke just 41 seconds in, opens the score. That was just all hard and hustle by that line on that entire shift, all five guys. McDonald and Valerian on the back end, and then DiGiulio, Jansen, and Municello, they were just hounding Fayetteville. Few changes for both teams. Marcin Gavik stays out though and wheels his way into the zone and he scores! A missile from the high slot from Dom and Roanoke leads 2-0 here at 5-0-1 against Fayetteville. Well, anytime you let Marcin Gavik without speed start coming downhill like that, you've got to be concerned. He's so hard to get up tight to with his speed. So difficult. And he gets that shot away and perfectly places it on the glove side of Dom up high. Incredible save, and he's able to hold on. But that brings us to the end of the first period. Two quick goals by Roanoke through Mateo DiGiulio and Dominic Sparsinkiewicz have put them up by a pair here over the Fayetteville Marksman at the first intermission. Now the dogs have it back in the neutral zone. This could be a breakaway for DiGiulio. Dropped up from McDonald. Back to DiGiulio. He scores! Mateo's got two. And it's a 3 nothing lead for Roto. Just 40 seconds into the second. Deja vu from the first. DiGiulio with a really heads up play there. Not to just take that partial breakaway, but he flicks it back on the backhand to McDonald. Creates the two on one, squares up the body, and it doesn't matter if you have Eric Dopp or the Hulk in that, you're not stopping that. Pitters to Timmons, back to Pitters, he scores. 14 28 to go in the second, a little bit of a two on one. Sets up the opportunity for Pitters. Arujo back to Boyko to his right wing. That shot got through the traffic. He has scored. 9.05 to go in the second. It's a power play goal for Simon Boyko. 3-2 game here in Roanoke. Well, Roanoke had extended their lead to three at one point through another goal by Mateo DiGiulio. Fayetteville with two goals right back from Peters and then Simon Boyko on the power play. It is 3-2 here at the end of 40 minutes. Pass low to high to Alvo. Alvo shot, tipped along, they score! And it's Matt O'Day, it is returned for 
Roto. That makes it four to two dogs. But 10.49 to go in regulation. Big goal. You see Ode go by the bench and give that huge yell, that big scream. He's been so huge for Roto all year. Defenseman, centerman, winger. He does it all, folks. We've said it all year. That time, Albo did a really good job after Munichello and Ode did all the really dirty work down low. Albo just patient, waiting for it to open up. Ode keeping that stick down on the ice. And Roto able to get the four to three win here against Fayetteville. They finish in third place in the SBHL, their highest ever franchise finish in the SBHL standings. And more importantly, they sweep the weekend against the rival Fayetteville Marksman. They beat them seven out of 10 times on the year. Mateo DeGiulio with two goals. Austin Rodebush, 34 saves. Goals as well for Matt O'Day and Amar Sinkavix. Tommy Milicello with three assists. Post-game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs.